Hey guys, it's Joseph. Um, I'm really excited to be able to introduce to you guys uh, this year's Christmas presentation. Uh, we're really glad that, you know, even in the midst of COVID, even in the midst of social distancing and quarantine, we're able to come together and, you know, have an online musical presentation for you guys for Christmas. And, you know, considering everything that's been going on, this is just the perfect way to end the year off, you know, with, with Jesus, you know, telling his story, his birth, and what it really means um, to, to have Jesus in our lives, to have that peace in the midst of, our, in the midst of chaos. So, yeah, enjoy the show and thank you.
Hey CAG, I am currently on campus right now and I'm going to be going around asking students what their favorite thing about Christmas is. So stay tuned. Hey Michaela, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Probably spending time with my family and celebrating Jesus. What's your favorite thing about Christmas, Abby? Something like Michaela, that spending time with family. Because we don't get to see each other all right, coming into the computer lab. Seth, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, I guess decorations. Miss Mendez, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, the food. The food. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Morales, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, the songs, the Christmas carols. I, I love the songs. What's your favorite thing about Christmas, QC? So my favorite thing about Christmas is probably seeing the reaction of people's faces when giving gifts and uh, just celebrating God's gift to us. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is being able to visit my foreign family and spend time with them. And a hot cocoa and candy cane for Christmas. Uh, presents? Presents? <laughs> That's the only thing. My favorite thing about Christmas is um, celebrating Jesus' birth and all the yummy goodies. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Okay. Friendship and going to my I love that video about what you all love most about Christmas. What's, what do you like most about Christmas? Well, definitely the main thing, I think the best gift of all is Jesus Christ and him being born. So that's definitely my favorite part. That's right. And that's what tonight is all about. We love Christmas because it's celebrating that Jesus decided to step down into this mess that is this world, right? And 2020 yeah. has been a mess. Like, like Joseph said, maybe it's been a hard year for many people, but he came to bring peace in the midst of chaos. So that's yes. what Christmas is all about. So we are so excited to be able to introduce you to um, this year's 2020 Christmas program. We wanna make sure that you guys stay interactive though and connected and engaged. And so make sure you write in the chat where you're watching from. Make sure you say hi to each other. Say Merry Christmas. Maybe send your emojis. Have some fun. Chat Have some people. fun, yeah. Make sure you're chatting it up in the chat box. And we're so excited that you've decided to watch tonight. So we give to you now. Um, CAG's 2020 Christmas program, Peace. Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, 
the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and we'll call him Emmanuel. said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven.
his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love we will sing 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 just to This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Down where he lay, the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay.
Hello, CAG family. Um, it's a weird year this year. With COVID and everything going on, we don't know even how to say hello to each other. You know, you don't know if you're supposed to fist bump, if you're supposed to elbow hit, if you're just supposed to wave from a distance. And we as Chapines and, and those of us that have moved to Guatemala have become more Chapin than others, we want to give that abrazo fuerte and that big hug. And, and we can't do that now as a CAG family. You, know, you don't know if you're just supposed to do the ET finger touch or, or what it is we're supposed to do. It's just chaotic and crazy. But as, as today's ch Christmas program says, it's about peace. It's about the peace that is beyond all human understanding. We can't understand it, but we know one thing's for certain. Jesus is Lord. He is here, and He loves us. And time and time again, as we'll see in tonight's program, he says, peace, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. In the end, He is Lord of Lord and King of Kings. Jesus came to earth humbly as a baby, and we celebrate that at Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. When it was His, not necessarily the exact day that He was born, but just the day that Christians have chosen to celebrate Him and what He came to do for us. And as a baby, he came to give himself on the cross to pay for our sins. In secondary chapel this semester, we've been looking at John 15, 13. No greater love has no man than he who gives his life for his friend. And that's what Jesus came to do. And when he gave his life on that cross, when that small, precious baby that was born in a manger gave his life for us and rose from the dead, he gives us that peace. Inside of us, we can feel that peace and that, that sustainability that helps us get through this challenging time. We've missed you guys here on campus. We miss seeing each other. And, and you run into people in the grocery store, and, you, and, and some of us have come to class and some of us haven't. But we're, we have been here virtually as a family, serving together. And what, what unites us is Jesus. He brings us together. In this Christmas season, whether you're in Korea, in the States, in Canada, in any other country, wherever it is that God has you at this moment, we pray that this Christmas season you can find the time to find that peace that we need, to find that restoration, to find what it is that God has for us and for your family specifically. How does He want to bless you this year? How does He want to renew the passion and the calling in your life this year? What does He have for your family as we get ready to start out 2021? We don't know what next year is going to bring. If, if we had talked a year ago about all the mess that coronavirus has caused, people would have thought we were crazy. <laughs> and at this point in time, we have no idea what 2021 is going to bring. Even more insanity? Or will we finally get a breather? You know what? It doesn't matter because Jesus Christ, He brings us that peace. And that's my prayer for you this holiday season. As you get ready to celebrate Christmas, close to family or far from family, traveling in COVID can be a challenge. I know that, but you're with your spiritual family of Christ. And so as you prepare for this holiday season, think about what Jesus means to you. How God's gift of His Son to this earth impacted your personal life. Mom, Dad, how did it impact your personal life? How has God called you as a father to lead your family better? Kids, whether high school, middle school, elementary, or pre-K, what is it that Jesus means to you? And how does He want you to use the understanding of His love to share that with others. My prayer is that Jesus' peace be with each and every CAG family, wherever it is that you are, and that, Lord willing, we can all come back together January 5th. We pray for His provision. We pray for God's sustenance. We pray for His healing for those that need it. But most of all, we pray for His unity as one in the body of Christ. So this holiday season, as we go out, 
Just remember that God brings peace through His Son, Jesus Christ. And He brings unity in the family as we serve Him together to glorify His name. God bless you guys, and have a wonderful Christmas. Luke 2, 10 through 11. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy to all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Our student council has been doing such an amazing job leading this student body even through a year like 2020 and online schooling. And so they prepared an awesome video for you guys, so just watch this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Enjoy your winter break. See you next year. Hey CEG, Merry Christmas. Have a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, CAG. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, CAG. First of all, I'd like to give a big shout out to all the teachers, faculty, and staff 
for making online school possible. I'm looking forward to see all of you guys in school next year. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Luke 2, 14. Give glory to God in heaven and on earth. Let there be peace among the people who please God. We are an altar of broken stones But you delight in the offering You have the heavens to call your home But you abide in the song we sing Ten thousand angels surround your throne To bring you praise that will never cease But hallelujah from here below Is still your favorite melody Thank you everyone for joining us and I would like to now give a special thank you to those staff members and students who contributed to this wonderful Christmas program. So of course Mr. Ivan Perez and Beto and Allison Guerra and Mr. Calderon and Nathan Hardiman, Jose Sampuel, Rhoda Morales and Ashley Park. Those are a few of your key staff and faculty who really worked long hours to put this together. So thank you so much. Please join me now in a closing prayer of this program. Heavenly Father, we are so humbled by your presence tonight as we honor you in this Christmas program. It has been a very difficult and crazy year, but you have continued to bless and protect CAG, and for that we are so thankful. We ask for your continued blessing and protection of all of our students, staff, faculty, and community members as we celebrate this Christmas season. We thank you for the spiritual gifts and talents that you have given to every one of the people who contributed tonight. And please just continue to be with us, lift our spirits up as we continue to live in faith and not in fear, Lord. And we are just so eternally grateful for your presence and for your, for your life and death. Thank you and amen. Merry Christmas, everyone. Luke 2, 20. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen 
which were just as they had been told.
Wow, that was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching with us tonight. It was so much fun to create this. It was. Guys, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.